Hello guys. Uh, I'm here in the Auckland domain. Um, so Auckland domain is kind of in just off or inside like you know the kind of Auckland CBD so like central Auckland um, in the middle of it is the uh, the Auckland Museum which is that up there uh, and the domain is massive like I mean I think yeah I mean I'll probably do another tour of this whole thing or you know try and do some footage at some other point but actually why I'm here today is it was supposed to be raining it kind of is um, I've got to go check out a studio uh, later on today to perhaps start making art again. Yay! Um, so yeah, anyway, so I had some time to kill. I was like, why didn't I go film something? Where should I film? Oh, it's raining, can't really do anything outdoors. Although, as you can see, I'm outdoors now and in t-shirt and shorts. But yeah, it feels like it's going to rain pretty soon. Uh, so what I, what you can probably hear, uh, what I am going to do is go in the winter gardens. So uh, there are two uh, kind of hot houses or like greenhouses for the winter gardens. So there's a bit of noise going crazy all over the place. Uh, I just found out as I got here that this one is the kind of cool house. <laughs> Um, and that is being uh, renovated for like seismic activity, like earthquakes and things. It's kind of being strengthened in the case of a earthquake. So, but the hothouse is, so that's the one with like the tropical plants that is open. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to film it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, that's was the cool house. I'm going to walk around to the hot house. And I'll catch in with you when I get there. Nice one. So here we are at the entrance to the winter gardens as I said this one here which is the cool house uh, is currently kind of under construction or reconstruction or strengthening which you can maybe hear I'm not sure um, but this one over here um, is the hot house so yeah that's the one that apparently is and it looks like it's not being worked on um, so great, I'm going to go in there, do a little bit of filming, da 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 da, -da. Uh, I will just give you a little bit of history about it, if I can pull it out of my brain. Uh, so the Winter Gardens was uh, opened, it kind of came about after the war. Um, why? I don't know. Look it up. <laughs> um, basically, yeah, it was something that kind of was constructed after the war. That's more or less all I know about it, other than, like I said, that is the cool house, that is the hot house, which is, has all kind of the, uh, which has all the tropical plants. So yeah, let's just go check it out. Uh, it's still not raining, there's a bit of blue sky, but yeah, I mean, I'm here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Nice one. Thank you. 
Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Um, now going to head, have some lunch, and then head to the studio to check it out. So I'm just gonna go have a look at the studio. See if I like it, see if I can make some art there, which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so that was the Auckland Winter Gardens. Only one half of it, although actually we got a bonus uh, section, which I didn't actually realize, which was the fernery. Um, obviously it looks a lot like my backyard, so, you know, I mean, I filmed a bit in there, but yeah, I mean, I was more here for the indoor bit, just because there's all the tropical kind of unusual plants. Um, yeah, so I can give you a bit more history on the place. Uh, it was created in 1921, so that's after the First World War, between 1921 and 1928. Um, and then I think it was renovated in 2006. Anyway, that's kind of a bit more history, uh, a bit more present time. Uh, the hours that it's open from, I believe, the 1st of November to the end of March, which is actually in a couple of days. Um, it's open uh, Monday to Saturday, 9.30 to 5.30. But then Sundays it's open till 7.30. But then during the winter times, which is April to the end of October, I believe, uh, it's 9.30 only till 4.30 and that's every day. So yeah, if you want to come and check it out, come down, have a look. Um, I mean, I kind of, I don't know, you know, just walking around here, like seeing all these kind of unusual plants and colors and yeah, you know, it's just amazing to see the, uh, you know, the patterns and like I said, the colors and just the textures of all these kind of plants, you know, and just uh, this kind of pattern and repeatingness and or repetition um, yeah, that's so organic, yet it looks so systematic in a way, you know, it's kind of this play between, well, it is organic, obviously, but, you know, it's almost procedural, so I kind of relate it to a lot of this more kind of, uh, like, immersive, or like, this digital art stuff that I make, which deals with L systems, which kind of for example, which creates, uh, or kind of the idea is that it mimics the plant growth, you know, and it's kind of these patterns, these calculations, um, algorithms, which kind of make things grow, you know, and you can kind of see that, obviously it's based on reality or like the natural world, but you can kind of see that um, there must be some kind of I don't know, DNA? I mean, it's not the DNA, you know, there's a code, right? Which creates these things. You know, you can see just how it spreads, how things grow. And I just find that really interesting. You know, especially to then relate it back to the man-made and, you know, our ability to kind of recreate these things, you know, these patterns, these, these things. <laughs> yeah, cool. That that that'll do. Um, yeah, the, I, well, I guess you know the, the, these patterns, this symmetry um, or asymmetry, but yet, uh, yeah, it's kind of created what, what appears to be created chaotically, right? But yet, there is some order to it. Yes. Uh, yeah. I find that really amazing about plants. Yeah, so as some of you may have noticed, um, like with a lot of the videos that I do do, I try and like hone in on, on, on plants and kind of do shallow dip the field where you kind of see flowers and the petals, just to really, I guess, give them notice, you know? Notice the textures, notice the colors notice the patterns, notice this, the beauty of the thing, you know. So anyway, guys, um, yes, if you like this, there will be more 
uh, of something. I am slowly planning and looking at things to do. I've got a, um, a meeting tomorrow and then I'll probably take a day off and, but then I am thinking of doing a bit more traveling. So things are coming together and I am moving forward, travel New Zealand somewhere. Uh, you'll have to wait and see. But yeah, if you want to find out where I am going next or what's happening next or what is going on, um, you know, obviously uh, the really amazing thing is that I may have a studio soon. I've already kind of got one or, uh, yeah, I've got options. So I'll be making more art vlogs and things like that. Um, of me painting, creating artwork, maybe talking about art more, maybe interviewing people at my studio. Um, yeah, and I also have an exhibition coming up. Anyway, um, there is, what's the point in all that babble, you say? Um, there's a lot more coming. So if you like this, if what I just rambled about, art, stuff, travel, things, is your cup of tea. Come and have a cup of tea with me. Press subscribe. Um, you know, like it. Comment down below. Da -da 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 -da. And I will see you guys on the next one. Nice one, guys. Catch you later.